Hi, my name is Lila Abercrombie, and my classic poem is Beautiful Short Loser by Ocean Vong. Stand back. I'm a loser on a winning streak. I got your wedding dress on backward, playing air guitar in these streets. I taste my mouth the most, and what a blessing. The most normal things about me are my shoulders. You've been warned. Where I'm from, it's only midnight for a second, and the trees look like grandfathers laughing in the rain. I've always had a preference for mediocre bodies, including this one. How come the past tense is always longer? Is the memory of a song the shadow of a sound, or is that too much? Sometimes, when I can't sleep, I imagine Leonard Cohen singing Van Gogh's Hallelujah into his cut ear and feeling peace. Green voices in the rain, green rain in the voices. Oh no, the sadness is intensifying. How rude. Hey, knocks on my skull, can we go home now? That one time Jackson passed out beside a triple stack of jumbo pancakes at Denny's after top surgery. I can't believe I lost my boobs, he said a minute before, smiling through tears. The sadness in him ends in me tonight. It ends tonight, I shouted to the cop who pulled us over for dreaming. I'm not high, officer. I just don't believe in time. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a chance. I know, I know the room you've been crying in is called America. I know the door is not invented yet. Finally, after years, I'm now a professional loser. I'm crushing it in losses. I'm mopping the floor where Jackson's drain bags leaked on his way to bed. I'm done talking, officer. I'm dancing in the rain with a wedding dress, and it makes sense because my uncle decided to leave this world intact because taking a piece of my friend away from him made him more whole because where I'm from, the trees look like family laughing in my head because I am the last of my kind at the beginning of hope because what I did with my one short, beautiful life was lose it on a winning streak. <laughs> and my response is called, <laughs> how to fail like a homosexual. <laughs> when a guy asks you out on a date, you tell him, sorry, I'm gay. When your mom asks why you drink so much overpriced iced coffee, you tell her, Mom, I'm gay. When someone asks why you don't want to have biological kids, you tell them, I just really care about the environment, but also I'm gay. When your aunt asks why you don't have a boyfriend, you tell her, I'm too busy, I'm just not interested. I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> Let's start over. When your aunt asks why you don't have a boyfriend, you tell her you're far happier living in your little queer bubble than you ever would be with some man you could tell your extended family about. And when you see the disappointed look in her eyes, you know you've done something right. It all feels so scary the first time when suddenly you're forced to change your entire knowledge of the future without really understanding your past. What a visceral feeling to know you are the same person you've always been. After a while, the anxiety fades. The next stage of grieving a life you never lived is the anger. At the world, mostly, but also at myself. Why did I have to be like this? Maybe I don't. Maybe it was just that one time. Maybe it was just that one girl. Maybe I can go back to the way things were. Bargaining with myself never got me very far. One night, I got a little too curious, and I fell down an internet rabbit hole where what I found was a video of a man saying that if he could, he would put a gun to my head and shoot me. Four years later, I can still tell you exactly what he looks like. 
Four years later, I can still see brown hair, black suit, gray desk with legs kicked up on it and ankles crossed like an asshole. But four years later, my friends and I can laugh at Republican podcast hosts on Twitter and craft original features where we take our kids to drag brunch instead of church on Sundays. There's so much freedom in being the family disappointment. And sure, you'll fail them when you don't have a boyfriend to tell your aunt about, and you'll fail them when you want to cut your hair short and they don't understand why, and you'll fail them when one day you decide they're not worth your love or your life anymore. Because when the world wants to kill you, you will fail by living. And what I hope you do with your one short, beautiful life is live it on a losing streak. Thank you.